Let's see. Let's talk to Cooper in New York, who uh, has some, I think, fairly straightforward questions about evolution. Uh, I will say that neither of us work in the hard sciences, but I think we can walk you through this one. Cooper, what was uh, your question today? Sure thing. Well, guys, first off, thanks for taking my call. Most appreciate it. Um, my question is this. If we all started out from the one cell that could self-replicate, are we related to things like dinosaurs and even to a further extent plants? Plants and mushrooms yeah. and, and all of those. Yeah, that sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. That's my understanding. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it depends on how you use the word relate, but I think that you can make the argument that all life on Earth is connected and has those common ancestors. Uh, I, I've heard some theories that it's at least theoretically possible that there were a handful of different sort of microorganisms or sparks or beginnings of life, and maybe a few of those eventually came together, but I don't know that there's a whole lot of veracity to that, and it's all can. Mm -hmm conjecture anyway when we're looking back that far in the record. Ultimately, though, single-celled organisms turned into more sophisticated organisms that turned into this, that turned into that, in this long series of death and rebirth and death and rebirth. And yeah, in these branching chains, you do have everything from blue whales to brontosaurus to humans somewhere else in the between. Yeah. Yeah, I just think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool that I'm related to a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was talking with some of the folks here at the ACA. I was uh, we we're on a, a call, and I was saying, well, I'm walking my cousin uh, down the street yeah. to go hang out with my cousins, and I'm stepping on my cousins right now, and you know, pretty attenuated. But yeah, we're all. Seemingly, according to the the, under, the current understanding, we're all related, very distant cousins in some way, aunts and uncles and notwithstanding and all that. But yeah, and I, I think it is cool. And I, I think it's cool. And I think that there is meaningful value in sort of meditating on that connection. You know, I, I'm not trying to be overly metaphysical or spiritual about any of this, but recognizing our commonality with other humans, recognizing our relationship to other conscious creatures, really just being aware of the fact that all life on this planet is in the same boat and working together and against each other in these sophisticated dynamic forces, I think that's at the root of being truly compassionate and understanding to the world around us. So yeah. I, I would encourage you to embrace that idea to a certain extent, to lean into it in whatever way feels right to you. Yep. Yeah, yeah I have because like the, the knowledge, and I've been meditating on it for quite some time now, the, the concept that really we are all family in this human endeavor that we're on. Yeah, well, even more on this living living entity endeavor that we're on. My dog is my cousin, right? Uh, but quite aside from that, um, and, and if that's the hook that people need to be better, kind and generous <laughs> and like do it. stop burning down the Amazon, sure, yeah, yeah sure. let's do that. Let's have it, yeah. We're all cousins, that's a fact. But when we run into aliens from another planet, we're maybe not cousins? Uh, hard to say. I mean, uh, there's so much good sci-fi, that scenario could go a lot of different directions. Hey, uh, I do appreciate you calling in. Um, Christy, any, any last thoughts on that? Uh, no, I, I think that wraps it up for me. If you don't have any further questions. Yeah. I don't. No, thanks, guys. All right. Take care. All right.